Well, hello and welcome to the Balloter Gallery at my home in Aberdeen. Now, I know if you're a regular follower of the videos, you'll say, oh, he said he was going to be in Balloter from now on. Well, I have been in Balloter quite a lot, getting ready for us opening at the end of April. But in all honesty, what happened was John, my courier, was in Glasgow, St Andrews, Edinburgh, picking up a lot of paintings because thankfully my regular uh, artists have been working really hard. In fact, who I'm about to talk about actually works through the night uh, painting. Uh, so John got a lot of paintings by Alison Cowan, by Linda Park, and by, very exciting because I had no paintings for a couple of months, but the one and only Jack Morocco. So I'm today going to do three videos of the new paintings and tell you about them. I've taken them up all my own pieces of art off the kitchen walls and made it a little bit of a gallery. So who am I talking about today? Uh, have a look at the paintings behind. I think a lot of you will be able to guess and you'll go, oh wow, what's she got? What's new? And these are paintings by the fabulous Alison Cowan. Why do I say fabulous? Well, she's very successful, but she's, a, she's actually a great person. She's funny, she's witty, she's attractive. She's, she's just a joy to deal with. And her positive joie de vivre comes through in her paintings. Alison, um, I don't think she'll mind me saying, she uh, went to Glasgow School of Art, made a bit of a name for herself in the 1970s. She was instantly successful. She was in demand through long years after that for teaching art and became so popular she managed to become a full-time artist. Funnily enough, in the 1990s, Alison and I, our, our paths could have crossed. We laugh about this because um, I lived in a street called Grosvenor Terrace and I think Alison lived in Kirkley Terrace, so literally beside each other in the west end of Glasgow. Um, but um, never bumped into each other. And it's surpri surprising because she's very fun, likes a party, likes a good time. So <laughs> people come into the gallery, very, very uh, mix of, of people for Alison's paintings because they go incredibly well. If you have a new, in fact, quite a few people who come to the gallery have been buying some new houses by a company called Snowdrop and they've been building in Miltimber and Kincardine O'Neill and they've got great big open plan kitchen diners, and that's where Alison Cowan, and funnily enough, Linda Park's paintings go particularly well. So, um, Alison's style of painting, you know, it can go for the modern house, but we've had people staying at the Five Arms, big time academics, some, you know, incredibly successful people in life, and some of them are really blessed by having multi-million pound art collections, and numerous of them have said, who paints? like this. Who is this person? Because Alison's got a style and an ability which frankly not that many artists could ever replicate. So she's done very, very well. In fact, if there's a, a, when we go around, we were, Alison painted 11 paintings for me um, over the last few months. She'd been working hard and before even they arrived yesterday from John, three were sold. Now there were three little paintings. Tom will drop them in Wee rosebuds in a jar, uh, snowballs, no, not snowballs, snowberries on grey. These should all be dropping in as I'm talking to you. And spring tulips. I mean, behind me, I've got real tulips. You know, tulips are in at the moment. And a very, very discerning um, global collector actually saw her first Alison Cowns recently because her daughter bought. And she used a funny word, and she said to me, David, these are delicious. And I thought, delicious? I would call an Aberdeen Rowie delicious. I might call a cheese scone delicious. But uh, to call a painting <laughs> delicious, I thought, well, that's a new word for me. But they are delicious. They're, they're happy, they're lively, they're, they're fun. They cheer people up. So if you look at these paintings that have sold instantly, the, the little ones, it just shows her work appeals to everybody, whether it's a bedroom or for a big kitchen. I'm going to start talking about the individual paintings. So let's go here to the first one. So it's called Pathway Through Blossom. They should be all on the website now. Um, this one is 30 by 30. So it's 30 by 30 centimetres of the canvas. It's acrylic on canvas. Alison paints in what we call abstract impasto style. 
hardly ever using a brush, tends to use a palette knife, and, and it's very, very thick. So many artists want to know how she does it, and she won't tell them for obvious reasons. The framing is high quality, and it tends to be either an off-white or it tends to be black. I think it's Faro and Ball colour. So there's the first one, and that is Pathway Through Blossoms. Let's go here. Now, Alison painted this painting, Wildflower Patch, especially for me, because if you're really a fan of hers, you'll probably be aware that we sold a painting called Jigsaw extremely quickly. And Jigsaw was very different from this, but not totally dissimilar. And in fact, somebody loved the Jigsaw painting so much, they asked us to get Alison to paint a similar painting in two meters by one meter for their apartment in Berlin, which we did. So this painting here, Wildflower Patch, it's actually 50 by 50 centimeters. It's striking, it's poppies. You might be missing that, that the fact they're all little poppies. It's bright, it's colorful. I think you'll agree that it looks well here. And you know, a serious original piece of art by Alison Cowan, and even at that size, it's still under a thousand pounds at 995 pounds. It's a statement piece, on a, particularly on, a, on a, a blank wall. So let's go round here, uh, Tom. And if we just focus right in here to the top painting, this is a dinky little painting. This will sell, uh, chances could be, if they're on the website before you see this video, it might be away, but this is Peachy Pom Pom. Um, it's a tiny little painting, I think it's a 20 by 20, but again, but the good quality big frame, and it's only £395. Immediately below it, we've got Overhanging Bow, which is 20 by 20, and it's only £395 as well. So £395 for original um, pieces of art by Alison Cowan. You know, it's frankly the price of a good night out. Let's have a look here. Big striking painting here. Um, I'll be honest, this, because we sold a couple, I didn't have something to put in this space. Now this is actually a painting which we got a month or two ago. Normally Alison's thistles sell instantly. It could perhaps be because the gallery's not open and people aren't taking them back. But this is called Steadfast and Strong. So it's a big thistle. Striking painting if, you're, if you've got a bit of purple or green in the background. And I think the black frame works really, 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 really well. So that's about, funnily enough, if you just go back, Tom, to the poppy one, um, the wildflower patch. So wildflower patch and steadfast and strong are exactly the same size. And funnily enough, they could look very good together. I I've pro should probably have thought of that before I yabbled on here. So let's look at this. So here we have summer hazy days. Now, this shape um, and size of painting works very, very well for Alison. It's a big painting. It's a meter uh, wide by uh, fifty cent by half a meter deep, plus the frame. So remember, you've got to add on a good bit there. Uh, One thousand six hundred ninety-five pounds. So it's summer hazy days. If you you go very closely. It, what is it? It's the leaves, it's the yellows, it's the oranges, it's a happy painting. And it just brings that splash of colour to any house. We've got two more paintings, I think, by Alison. And a nice size, this, you know, Spring Blossom. Um, I think it's 30 by 30. I think it's very, very clever the way she's managed to get the pink, which is obviously archetypal of a cherry blossom, Japanese cherry blossom tree, but it's got, gone through with the green leaves and the white blossom. Directly underneath it, again, not that I'm going to be a pushy salesman, but they do look good together. We've got white blossom on lavender. So keeping the Japanese um, blossom theme, uh, they're both 30 by 30 plus frames. They're both 595 pounds and Really, that completes this video, but I think it's showing you expertly the work of um, Alison Cowan to its best effect. They're brand new paintings, 
and get in touch with me directly at david.ballatagallery.co.uk if you're interested in these. They go quickly, and I'm not just saying that. Um, Alison Cowan, thank you.